Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It is April the 18th, 2018, and I have uh, eight 300B tubes in here. I'm going to test. I want to show you something. Now, two of them are these Sophia Electric. Two of them are these called uh, Full Music. And four just came in and have not even been touched by my hands yet, except to hold the boxes of these uh, Electro Harmonics. So, what I want to show you first is, if you've been watching any of my videos on 300B amplifiers that I'm building, this is the uh, Sophia Electric. This one tests good. I have to treat these guys gentle. And this one is by um, the one called uh, Full Music, and it tests good. They actually test quite good. Good and good. And these are the ones I've been using. The other two that I have that are exactly like it, another one just like this, and another one just like this, test really bad. See, last time I tested them, this one tested 68 with a minimum of 58. This one tested, oh darn, it's already fallen off. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plug them in and go through this as quickly as I can, but at the same time, being um, as thorough as I can. I have no bias to which one. No pun intended. I have no bias to which one is good or bad. I just want good ones. I don't need the bad ones. Okay, they warm up pretty quick. I've got it all set up. This is a TV7DU. It does test 300 Bs. You set it up to, what is this? E, ER3 2000. This is the filament. This is how you configure the filament. Grid, plate, screen, cathode, suppressor, all that kind of stuff. And then you press, well, let's see, you do the line adjust first. And you, if you can, I don't know if you can see that meter really well. I want to keep the, the um, camera on the stand so that I'm not having to try to do all this and drop one of these tubes. But I set, you set it right in the middle for the line test, and then you press 3. And this one measures right at 70. Hope you can kind of see that. 70. I don't have it written on that, but this one is good. I'm going to lay it over here completely out of the way. Okay, here's one that measured 68 the other day. Let's see what it measures now. Yeah, this goes pretty fast. I just got to be really careful with those brand new 300B Electro Harmonics over here. This one uh, measures right at 70 also. Wow, th these are good. And these are ones I've been using, and I've been getting really good performance out of these two right here. Okay. Now, uh, when I first started this project, I plugged all four of them in, assuming they were brand new and all good. Here's one that last time I measured, measures 18. I mean, that is virtually nothing. Let's see what it measures this time. Go ahead and get this one out of the box. I don't want to drop any of them, even if they are bad. And I don't know the... Um, I don't know where these come from, so to speak. I don't know if they were brand new when they showed up in my hands or what, but this one measures. See how it goes down? Can you see the meter going down? It jumps up for a second, and this one's actually going down, 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 down. Actually, this one stopped at about, gotta get my head in the way, about 28 this time. So, see that still in the middle? Yep. Okay, this time it measures, it jumped up and then it goes way back down. Well, it's measuring 28 this time instead of 18. I don't know why. Two testers do that sometimes. And this one measures, last time, it, maybe I got the two mixed up. This one measured 26. These little labels I have on there keep falling off. We'll see, maybe I, uh, maybe they fell off and I take them on the wrong tube here. We'll see. Give this one a guy, to, this guy a second to warm up, and uh, we'll see how he tests. And he measures. There's our in the center again. He measures. Wow, he's doing pretty good, but well, he's dropping though. Dropping, dropping, dropping. That is not good. When that happens, the tubes don't work. He's dropping down. They're working a lot better than they did the other day, and I cannot explain this. It was dropped down to about 38. Okay, it is what it is. I can't argue with that, but 
they still are much less than minimum. Minimum is 58. Why they measured what they did the other day and why they measure what they do now, I don't know. Maybe if I burn them in for an hour or two, hell, I don't know. But anyway, when I plug them in and try to use them, they don't change anything. At least the last time I did it. Now, let's, let's open these beauties up and test them one at a time. Hopefully not destroying the boxes in the process. Let's see if I can get a screwdriver and pry into that box and lift that yeah lift that out a little bit. These are Russian made. Wow look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Holy moly. Electro harmonics 300 B and gold plated pins. Okay let's plug these guys in. I hope they test really strong and I hope they're all the same. Give it a few seconds to warm up. We'll test our line. Make sure it's still in the middle. It is. And drum roll. There it is. Okay, bad contact. <laughs> Be worried for a second. 80. 80. Wow. Look at that. Steady as a rock, too. Now I am happy with that. 80 and steady. Excellent. Had not worked there for a second. Whew. Oh, no, this can't be. Can't be. Can't be. Okay, there's one. Let's, uh, let's, do, let's do the other. Um, again, I'm, I'm doing this uh, with, with no intention of making one good or one bad or anything else. But boy, these sure are pretty. I think I prefer these just to look at them. Okay, give it a few seconds to warm up. So, you know, whether this influences what you buy or what you don't buy online is uh, your decision. Um, I'm just doing this. I like to measure things. I like to document things for whatever it's worth. Okay, let's seat it in. All right. That would measure 78. Okay, we got a 78 and an 80. Excellent. Two more to go. 78 and 80. That's that's the same. That's I would call out a match pair. Let's see if, if we're really lucky here, we'll have a match quad. Don't we'll get too exciting here and knock them off and do anything weird to it. I mean, you know, these things are not cheap either. Give it time to warm up. I don't know why these two measure so different this time. Maybe I'll plug them in and let them run for a while. I don't know. Maybe that'll help them. Who knows? There isn't any other way I can fix them. Okay. Line adjust. Still in the middle. Here's what this one measures. 78 climbing up to 79 maybe even touching 80 wow that's three three beautiful ones wonderful excellent and the last one and I know not just everybody ends up with uh, all these to test in the document uh, not too long ago well a couple of years ago now I guess it was I built that um, Williamson stereo amplifier and I had six um, Acrosound transformers to pick from. I was very lucky. I think he actually had the fellow that uh, I bought the two from that I kept actually had eight in the beginning. And I believe he just sold two of them. I think that's the only reason I didn't have eight to choose from or maybe I did. I only remember six. I think I only remember having six over here at one time. Uh, to measure and to choose from and I found every one of them different by the way and I have I've, I've, I've mentioned this several times in my videos I don't know if it had to do with quality control back in the 1950s or aging over the last 60 years or both okay here's the last one line adjust in the middle and 
Come on, guys. There we go. Whew. I guess I got almost a bad socket down there. 78. 78. Climbing up maybe to 79. We have, we have a matched quad. I am very, very, very pleased with that indeed. I'm going to set these over here so they can't get bumped off. Okay, I'm going to plug this guy back in. Just This will lengthen the video just a little bit. This one measured 26 the other day. And right now, it measured a little bit more than that. Let me scope in on this thing so you can see this meter. This is really important. Uh, a tube tester doesn't tell you everything, but it does tell you some things, so you don't want to completely ignore it. Hope this thing has a very good, clear focus on it. It's a good thing to start with. It's a good tool to use. It's like a screwdriver or a hammer. You know, you can't build a house with with just a screwdriver or just a hammer, but you you got to have that and a lot of other tools. So you want to use the, the tube tester for what it's worth and uh, don't expect to get all the answers. Okay, now one of the things I do know about for you, I even press this button again, is uh, I have uh, tested a lot of tubes on this guy and I think it's quite reliable. It has a value and if the uh, if the uh, test jumps up real high and then starts deteriorating quickly or even starts deteriorating at all, the tube just won't work worth a hoot. Well, here we go. Line adjust in the middle test it okay jumps up to 60 okay see it can you see that dropping see it's down to 50 it jumped up to at least to the minimum now it's down to uh, 40 still dropping so instead of 26 over 58 it's, now it's down to uh, about 37 so there you go anyway they don't work these two bad ones don't work, and the other two do work, and they actually work quite well. So there you go. That is eight 300Bs by three different companies, tested right before your very eyes for whatever you think it's worth. Hope it helps you somehow. Okay, well, I said there was absolutely nothing I could do about uh, what I consider to be a weak filament, but maybe there is. I've got it running now at 6.3 volts. It doesn't look terribly bright. It doesn't look like it's uh, uh, about to, you know, burn in two, as you can hopefully see somewhat. I know it's kind of bright in here, but if I run these things at 6.3 volts, let's make sure you can can see that meter actually really well. Get that guy there. I want it to be super focused. And I set the line in the middle. Right there. And press it. It's uh, 69. It's almost 70. Actually, it works pretty good like that. And it's been like this for probably 20 minutes or so. Now, if I run it back down to 5 volts, give it time to cool off just a little bit, you'll see you got to adjust this because that's up a little bit higher because it's drawing a little bit less current. Then we get this. We get it dropping again. I guess it's, you can see it dropping. I'm going to go so far as to guess that, uh, that it's probably poor quality control of the filaments or it doesn't have um, the proper amount of uh, oxide on the filament. And again, poor filament construction, poor QC on the filament, but once we, um, if we heat it up a little bit more, it works pretty good, so <laughs> I guess it makes a good 6.3 volt uh, 300B, huh, instead of a 5 volt one, let's see if the other one does the same thing, it's pretty hot now, here's the other one, I just wanted to show you that, I, I, I suppose these could be usable if you, uh, if you, had some easy way of uh, raising the, uh, the filament voltage. I dare say that in some amplifiers, unless you've got a tube tester or unless you've got some fairly sophisticated equipment to uh, test the output of them, you might not even know the difference if they work at all. Sometimes I wonder. Okay, we're still running this one at uh, 6.3. Let's see what it measures and if it's steady. 
70. Eh, it dropped ever so slightly, but it, probably an insignificant amount. So, looks like we got a couple of uh, 6.3 volt filament 300Bs. Well, I'm going to keep that in mind. I'll put some labels on them and, and um, label them as such and uh, might actually find a use for them someday. Yeah, that one's measured 72. Now it's heated up a little bit more. I'm going to flip it back down to 5 volts. Oh, look at that. See, it starts going down pretty quick. Well, at least it's almost staying up at minimum now. Looks like heating them up for a while did help. But it, it really shouldn't drop at all. I found tubes that uh, jump up and then uh, drop off. Just, yeah. That one's almost trying to work, isn't it? Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. I ran it back up to 6.3. I don't want to burn it in two. I'm not here to just see how, what'll happen if I run it up to 10 volts, you know. that. I mean, if I keep running it high enough, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to burn it in two, and then, then it's 100% worthless. But actually, at 6.3, it works okay. There you go.